Welcome to this sub one how to video and in this video, um, I'll, uh, I'm Brian Promise I'm joined today by uh, by Ron Raglan, who we uh, affectionately call rags um, and rags will be introducing to you the, the data analytics workspace really a a, uh, a, a, a a portion right of the data insight offering that pulls together a series of out of the box analytic workspaces for you to further have insight into the, the data you've collected into the uh, sub one data platform. So with that, uh, Rags, why don't you uh, give the team here a little uh, little view into you know why someone comes here and some of the value they get out of it. Okay, thanks, Brian. Um, so anyway, if you can see my my screen here pretty well, it's basically what we have here is that we have a uh, a device that's being monitored. Uh, we've set up the timeline to go back and show us the past seven days. It's a Chicago Edge device. You can see that it's a interface, a gig e interface with its indicators. In this case here, we're using HC in octets and HC out octets. And so we got technically about five out of the box specific areas that you can use to analyze the data that we prevent that we provide to you. So in this case here, we've got baseline, we have time over time, trending and percentiles, projected trend, and of course, calendar analysis. So we'll start off at the very top with the baselining. So what's kind of nice with baselining is that we automatically compute the baseline. Uh, as soon as you start discovery on a device, after, after seven business days, we have an automatic baseline determined. And basically what it does, it allows us to see what's normal and what's not normal based on the historical data that, you, that we store for you. So in this case here, it's it's pretty it's kind of laid out pretty simple. We've got the in octets, AC in octets at 1.16 gig, and you see the baselines at 1.14. That's that's pretty good. It's it's not very very beyond it too bad. So as you can see right there, when you look in the middle, you see the HC in octets one standard deviation. So we're using one standard deviation, and um, in this case here, a, a standard deviation gives you, uh, it's, arithmet it's arithmetic where it gives you a means of distributing the distribution of the data points so you can see any kind of deviation uh, and uh, deviation for nor from normal. So what we have here is you can see that it actually showed zero max, zero minimum bits per second deviation. So that's a good thing. My HC in octets is at that time, at that point in time on the 21st of March, it was well within specs. It didn't go beyond the standard deviation. And then if I look at the next one, my out octets, the same thing, 1.17 gigabits. My baseline's 1.14. The standard deviation is really nothing. You can see right there at zero bits per second. Another nice thing is, is historical baseline uh, or historical baselining with a histogram. Take your, your standard deviation and do a histogram here. All a histogram does is that it aggregates the data, okay, to make it a little bit more readable so you can see at a glance and it takes the data points and combines them up. So what I can say for the past seven days, right, I can look at this and I can see that I've had you know, my collection of my data, I've had 534 data points and my baseline is 533. So I can see it's still pretty, it's pretty close. I'm not concerned. If it was like 500 and, uh, or 600 or 550, then I'd start getting a little concern here. But you can see at a glance, it's kind of nice. I can see my value. These are my data points that I collected. How many of them? 532 data points. And then if you look at that, as far as the baseline goes, 539 data points, there's not much problem there at all. So it's really, it's, it shows you a pretty healthy circuit there. So let's go ahead and make that minimize. So at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is show you what's normal and what's not normal. And what's a nice feature of this is that we can actually provide you with um, incidents that were that you can ticket as far as when you see a standard deviation uh, go above or below normal for a certain period of time. 
Now there's another thing here that we have is time over time. If you ever had the, the, the uh, users call you and say, hey, you know, my line is not, it's pretty slow today. It's not working very well, but it was working fine yesterday, okay? Or it was working fine last week. Um, what's nice about this is that on time over time, I can take comparative data and display it and kind of layer it over what you see right now.